All right, guys, trust me, this is going to be cool. That's actually what it says on here, Excalibur, trust me, I thought that was funny. But uh, trust me, 360 feet per second, the new Assassin, this is the unboxing video. We just got this in. I haven't even looked into this bow at all, because I did that on purpose. I wanted to let you guys kind of see it the way I would see it from the first perspective of actually holding it. So let's, real quick, I'm going to run through the stats, because they have them right here in my, front of my face. 360 feet per second. Uh, the cocking effort they claim is 12 pounds, so they've done a great job there. On some of the past ones, it felt a little harder to get, so I think that's why they're getting at. 285 pounds of draw, so that's going to have a lot of power. 15 inch draw length. Um, overall length is 30 to 33 inches. Width cocked is 21 inches. Width uncocked is 25 inches. And uh, bow only 7.7 .7 pounds of mass weight. Not bad. Some of the things on the back here, which look really cool, they say whisper quiet shooting. Uh, they have a sound dampening system. It looks like reduces the noise level by 25%. Loading, unloading made easy with an integrated silent charger cranking system. So that's cool. We're going to have to check that out. Uh, a lot of adjustability, it says here in the stock. Uh, accuracy, very safe trigger, they're saying. Um, reliability. So let me just kind of show you what I see on the back. Just a whole bunch of great data. And this is kind of cool. Like I'm digging what I'm seeing right now in this box. I can't believe it's shipped like this. Um, Oh, wow. Okay, so this makes sense to me. The claim here is a quick takedown. It says the unique front end assembly features the ability to be quickly and easily disassembled and reassembled. That's pretty interesting concept. I think a good test for that would be, is it still accurate after we do that? That's, I hope it is Excalibur. You better, I better trust you in this. This better be the way it's got to go here. But yeah, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, wow, that is really cool. Um, wow, there's a lot of new stuff on here, guys. I haven't. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and take a peek at it. Uh, Tim, can you pass me a knife? I'd like to keep this intact because it's something we can use. There's a lot of good data. I want to make sure we go through it all. So do you want to go ahead and take, go ahead and cut that off? for us. This is Tim, by the way. Hey guys. <laughs> Camera guy. There's one, and then we're going to salvage that so that we can uh, use it for all the awesome data they put on this thing. Fail safe strap, charger cranking system, true fit stock. This is really interesting. All right. Oh, there's <laughs> some oh, latches on the bottom. That's funny. All right. Here she is. So this is, so technically, this case would be the case you could travel with this thing. Is that that's right, right? I mean, this, that's what it'd be. So let's take a look, see what we see. There's, oh, here's another one. Four latches. Whoa! Wow, super small. My gosh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so it's got a strap system in here. So there's your. Uh, front end all assembled no issue there this is quite awesome and uh let's do this here's the scope so obviously we're going to set that up separately here is the main stock with this pro shot trigger system in here this is wow there's a lot going on here this is going to take some time for us to learn everything for test lab but this looks awesome. Cranking system built right into it. I'm learning with you guys right now. This is how we do it here. Try to learn. Oh! oh, that is awesome. Wow. It tightens right back up, dude. That's pretty cool. This is going to be amazing. Okay, so there's that. Looks like a side mounting quiver. All oh, got strap crank. That's interesting. That's a fail safe, I think. All right, that's all I'm showing you guys. So you're gonna have to watch the episode to see the rest of this. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have to learn about this bow. We got some work to do on our end, but uh, hey, this is gonna be a sick bow. So stay tuned. We'll have more for you soon.